Hello and welcome to the CSCAD tutorial videos. My name is Sergey and today I will guide you through the general settings of CSCAD. To access general settings, go to Settings, General. And the first setting is Alternative Currency Display Format. There are two options available – Show Prices in Selected Currency only and Show Prices in Default and Selected Currency. Ok, let me show you how it works. We have a dollar as the selected currency and as the default currency. Now let's choose something different, for example the Euro. Ok, and now as you can see we have two currencies displayed, the default currency, the dollar, and the selected currency, the Euro. The next two settings are related to each other. The first one is the weight symbol and the second one grams in the unit of weight defined by the weight symbol. So, the default weight symbol is the pound and we have 453 grams in one pound. Now let me show you what these settings are responsible for. For a better demonstration we need something heavy. Let's choose a safe, for example. EcoSafe will do just fine. Now we go to the shipping properties and here in the general settings we have the weight. Of course we cannot say that the weight of the safe is zero, so when building up your store you have to enter the real weight of your products. Some of the shipping operators have the weight limitations, uh, for example USPS uh, cannot deliver more than 70 pounds per one delivery, so uh, you cannot deliver a heavy safe by using their shipping method. That's why we need those two settings, the weight symbol and grams in the unit. We need to be able to estimate the weight of a product. Close storefront setting. We had a detailed review of this setting in one of our previous videos, so if you want you can check this out. For now I just want to show you what is gonna happen if you will tick this. Ok, we saved and now we go to the storefront page. Now let's refresh the page and see the result. Ok, the message is clear, the store is closed and now your customers cannot get an access to your store. Initial order ID value. Sounds complicated, but do not fear. This is just the initial number of your orders. Let's go to the orders page and um, I will show you. Ok, here we are and currently we have 97 orders. So the counter starts with number 1. But for example if you had a store previously and you want to save your order counter, you can just write 1000 or 100 in the initial order ID value field and the counter will start with 1000 or 100. The next option is allow multiple shipments for a single order. Well, the name says it all, just let me show how it works. Let's choose a processed order with uh, multiple number of products. For example, let's choose order number 95. Ok, we have two products here, the lens and the camera. Let's split them up into two shipments. First, let's send the camera. Ok, oh, and don't forget to notify your customers about the shipments. Ok, we created the first one, now let's create the second one. Alright, and now let's ship the lens. Again, don't forget to notify. Create. Voila! Now we have two shipments for two products in one order. I think this is really really useful and can come in handy in many situations. At this page you have a detailed view of your shipments, ID, date and status. The next setting is about taxes. Tax calculation method based on subtotal or unit price. 
What's the difference? When based on subtotal, taxes will also count discounts and uh, shippings. But when we base our taxes on units price, discounts and shippings will not be included and will not be counted. Help us improve software. You can do it manually by using this form. The only thing you need to do is click the button send. Or you can do it automatically. So the system will send the data automatically by itself. Check for updates automatically. The name says it all. If you don't want to get automatic updates, just turn it off and the problem will be solved. After that, you can update your add-ons manually, one by one. And the last one for today is the default location. What is it for? Well, it can be used when customer does not submit his own address and uh, you can just use this address instead. Well, you can write down here the address of your store or the address of your company, any address you will find useful. That's it for today. In the next CS Card videos, we will continue to explore the general settings of CS Card. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CS Card tutorial videos.